Hello everyone and welcome to a Farming Sim 22 tutorial. Today we are looking at silage um, and more specifically loose silage. So if you're looking for silage bales, that's an entirely separate video. I'll link it to in the description. Uh, you do the same things with both of them, but this will be uh, loose silage that you will uh, ferment in some sort of bunker. So the first thing you need is grass or chaff to ferment into silage. So I always do grass. If you want to mess with chaff, you can get a for forage harvester and a header and then uh, go ahead on one of these crops here. I don't mess with it. I just use grass, so that's what I'll be showing today. So then um, all you need to do is mow and get a forage wagon here. And all of these work the same way. You just hook them up, turn them on, lower them, and it'll pick up um, the grass. In this game, uh, they have added now silage additive tanks, and I'll show you that as well. So it's optional if you want to put one on, and I'll kind of show you what it does here in a second. So once you have your mowed grass and everything, you lower the forage wagon and turn it on. And you'll see in the bottom right, I also have the silage additive. And what that does is it'll increase your yield as you pick it up. So it'll kind of lower as you're picking up the grass and you'll get more grass than you would otherwise. So when I was testing it, I picked up um, one kind of stretch gave me 26,200 grass without additives. And then the same exact stretch gave me 27,600 with additive. And it only took about 0.8 liters of additive, not eight liters, just 0.8. So it, it really, uh, so it gave me 1400 extra for, yeah, 0.8 liters. So uh, pretty effective if you want to use it. Uh, and I will show you how to add that kind of on our way to the biogas. So once you have your grass or your chaff, you need a bunker to put it in. So in this game, you can buy a silo and any of these bunkers here will be fine. You just have to own the land. You'll put it on the land you own and then you'll do what I'm about to show you. Or you can buy the biogas plant, which on Elm Creek is over here. And it'll say biogas plant and you'll have to buy it first and then it'll become part of your production chain. And you can see here, biogas plant, you can give it silage and it'll output digestate, which is a type of fertilizer. It works like slurry. So you'll use a slurry tank and then you can fertilize your fields. And then it'll also output sort of electricity and methane. And it took me forever to figure out what was happening. And I think I figured it out. So there, it doesn't show you like any output for the electricity and methane. I can't find it in the price chart. I can't find it when I go to the biogas plant. It, it just seems to disappear. So I started looking finally at my finance reports and I noticed that I was getting harvest income. And so what I think it does is it'll give you the digestate and then it just automatically sells the power, uh, the electricity and the methane as power to someone um, and it'll just give you harvest income automatically uh, and I kind of tested this for a few months and every time I would run the production chain here the biogas plant I would get harvest income without doing anything so I think that is what's happening kind of behind the scenes so you don't have to mess with these two things you just put in the silage or any of these other things and then it'll you'll get money for that and digestate as well so Going back to this, if you add a additive silage thing to your forage wagon, then you will buy it under pallets and way over here. So it's kind of expensive, but this 60 liters goes a very, 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 very long ways. And you can only fill up 10 at a time, at least on this one. So you buy it, the pallet will appear, and then you just go next to it and hit R to refill or whatever your controller says on the control tips and it'll fill up. And again, once you turn on the wagon and start picking something up, it automatically gets used. You don't have to do anything else with it. It'll just automatically 
uh, deplete and give you your extra grass or whatever you're filling up. So now we go to the bunker. Again, you can buy your own or you can buy the biogas plant here. And you just fill up the bunker with however much you want. So I'll hit control I to unload here. You'll see fill level chaff will start to go up. I recommend driving around a little bit so that it doesn't get in one huge pile or else it'll become um, a bit unmanageable when it comes to compacting it. Um, but just go ahead and, and again, I could take 10 more trips and fill it up as much as I kind of want or until it's full, which I've never filled one up because they're massive. And then you just drive over it until it's compacted 100%. You can, if you want to help you yourself out, you can buy a leveler or a silo compactor and put it on. And this will um, kind of help the number go up faster, but it's not necessary. Uh, you can also just take your tractor and drive over it. So I am going to skip ahead until the compacting says 100%. All right, we're getting there. You can kind of see, since I put in a pretty big pile, it, it just makes it a little more difficult, but we'll get there right now. So once you get to 100%, you can um, go away. I also recommend if you are going to do more than one load, which you probably should, um, I recommend compacting it every time you bring in a new load. Uh, that way it just, again, keeps it more manageable. So you'll see now I have a blanket silo option, so you hit R and it'll blanket it, and then it says fermenting, and it'll take 24 hours of in-game time to ferment. So if I skipped ahead to 1234 uh, one day later, it would say 100% fermented. So I actually have one ready to go. And there it is, fermenting silage. Um, so then to use it, you just hit R, and it'll open up a little bit, and then you can do what you want with it. So what do you want to do with it? The first thing is you could sell it, and it's usually a pretty good money maker. So you'll go to the animal dealer, and you can just load it up into a trailer and just take it over to the selling point. So not this icon, but this icon, the selling point icon, and you'll just take it there and dump it and get the money. Uh, you can use it for your cow's total mixed ration. Um, and you can watch my cows video if you kind of want to see that entire industry at play, but you'll just dump it in the feeder or the robot feeder barn. Um, or since we're at the biogas plant, you can use it in this production chain. And again, I kind of showed it. Um, you will put in the silage and then get the digestate, which on this map, you can see way down yonder, the icon for digestate is right there and you'll just take your slurry tank and fill up your digestate right there and use it as fertilizer. So to get it from that pile into these bins to go to work, you can you can use your forage wagon actually and just pick it up like you did grass and just run over it. You could get a belt like this and put it into a trailer and then take the trailer and dump it. Or what I kind of have set up here is a belt system. And it's a pretty simple one. You need this one to pick it up off the ground. And then you can use a combination of these or uh, this one kind of barely made it, but this one actually reached all the way. And I'll kind of show you that. So you can use your tractor to pull it to here, to the bunker. And then you actually get in the belt like you would a car and drive it around. And that's with the other belt as well. And you can kind of finagle it and move it around. And then when you want, you turn it on once you kind of see that they're probably linked up and we're not quite there and there you go so you can see over there it's dumping in it kind of looks like it's missing but it's not if i went into here you would see this number going up slowly yeah it's going up now if i get out it'll turn off and that's because if you want to use belts without staying in them like a car, you have to make sure that your automatic engine start is off. And that means that you have to manually turn on and off your engine. Because right now, because if it's on and you exit a vehicle, the vehicle turns off and that's what's happening with the belt. So if you turn it off, 
Then when you get in, you have to turn it on. So with the keyboard, it'd be the enter key. And then you can turn it on. And then when I get out, it doesn't turn off automatically because you have to manually do it. So then the belt will just run until it's pretty empty. This will probably reach all the way to the back. If not, you may have to adjust and maybe buy a connecting belt. Uh, but that's kind of my preferred way. Again, it looks like it's missing, but if it wasn't going in, it wouldn't be loading or it wouldn't be unloading um, unless I forced it to, which I did not. So that is uh, loose silage. If you have silage bales, you can do the exact same things with them um, that, that you do with loose silage. So I hope that helps. Hope you learned something. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, or comment below if you have a question. And of course, have yourselves a very nice day.